Hello today, I'm going to be taking a first look at the new 2022 version of the McGrath Mac Video Laryngoscope. So take a look over on their website, this doesn't look to be a massive update. Um, I can't see anywhere that there in fact is an update. And there seems to be three new things with this new device. The first is obviously the new packaging. The second is that there's improved image quality. And the third thing is the battery now has an auto switch off. So we'll go ahead and get this unboxed and take a closer look at it. So the top of the cover comes off and then we've got our device here. Um, as well in the packaging we have got our battery and then we've got some paperwork as well. So we've got our instructions for use and a quick start guide and that's everything that then that comes in this container. So it does actually look quite good, it looks like it should be quite durable. The device in and then the top back on again. So it definitely looks better than the old box that came with the last one. Um, so we'll take the device out. Again, looking at the form factor of the device, there doesn't look to be anything new with it at all. The screen size looks to be the same. Um, and the device handle itself feels a similar weight and a similar design. And obviously the blades haven't changed, so there hasn't been any changes here as well. So we'll remove that cover off. We'll open up our battery. Okay, so that's the battery and it looks like it's just going to clip in the same way as the old battery. There we go. And then we've got some plastic protection over the device to remove as well. Okay, the first thing I want to do is compare the new device on my right with the older McGrath Mac on my left. So in terms of the screen, it looks exactly the same. That's the tilting angles, and that looks exactly the same as our old device. If we turn things around, the battery itself looks exactly the same. The blades themselves are exactly the same. This is a Mac 1 that I've got on it. And if we go round to the back, this is the only place I've noticed a difference. So we've got McGrath Mac here. We've got a logo and Aircraft Medical written here. To turn the devices on, we just need to press the button. And this is the first place you're actually noticing a slight difference. If you look at the quality of the light here, it's a nice white light. Where over here, there's a pink tinge to it. And if you actually look down at the sheet itself, you can see the pink colour to the light over on the left with the older device, where you've got a nice white bright light over to the right hand side. And in fact, I think the light looks a little bit brighter, definitely on that right hand side to me, certainly looking at that white sheet. If we scan it to the back of the room, the image quality difference is absolutely massive. If we look at those infusion pumps at the back over to the right, and the infusion pumps to the back over at the left, there is an absolutely massive difference between the two. Um, so the image quality appears to be significantly better on the new device. If we look over towards the plugs at the back of the wall, there's yellow on the plugs, which is actually the, the true color of them, and you'll see on the screen. Whereas over here, you can't really appreciate the yellow color. The color of the cables and the definition in the monitor is just not there on the old device, where it looks absolutely amazing on the new device. So the first look in terms of image quality looks to be very good. We have a brighter and more natural white light compared to the pink light, and the image quality looks great. So I'm going to make a start with the older device first of all. So we normally don't have a problem in getting a view, but the detail is just not there. We can see vocal cords, but they're not very clearly defined. The posterior cartilages, there is some details on them, and the epiglottis. You can definitely tell where the airway is, but it doesn't look actually that nice. If we take the new device, and in we go, and it's like night and day. The image quality is just there, so you can see very clearly the definition in the vocal cords. You can see the detail in the posterior cartilages and the epiglottis, the separation between the tissues, and you really just were not getting that on the older device due to the image quality. Okay, so we'll take a look at that with the endotracheal tube, so I enter that into the airway. The older device, you can make out the single use on it. We can see the black mark that we want to position at the cords, and you can read the numbers four and five, but they're not really that distinct. And actually, you can't really make out the cords now round the endotracheal tube. You can't tell where they start and finish because there's a lot of glare on the light coming from them. If we take our new device and compare that, uh, advance the tube, so the single use definitely looks sharper. The numbers on the tube are a little bit sharper and the black mark at the cords. And we can actually still appreciate the cords. They are a little bit overexposed uh, and you're losing a bit of the definition in them now. 
but the 4 and the 5, they do look a little bit more sharp to me than what they did with the older device. So that's the view of the two devices side by side. Obviously, we've got the new device on the right-hand side, the older device on the left-hand side, and it really is like night and day, the difference between the two of them. We've got so much better image quality over on the right-hand side. We can see everything in much nicer, more natural colors than what we have over the left-hand side. So I'm going to do something today I wasn't expecting to do. I'm going to compare the McGrath with the CMAC. Um, previously, I would not have considered this a fair test because this is really like the Rolls-Royce at Rolls-Royce prices, where this is like a Skoda Fabia in terms of prices of the device. So they should not be comparable. And previously, the image quality was not comparable. So if we have take a look with the CMAC in terms of image quality, you can see the detail that we're seeing on the vocal cords. Um, if I introduce the endotracheal tube, we've got much better detail on the tube itself. And previously, the reason I wouldn't have compared the two is this is the view that we were getting with the older version of the McGrath. It is not comparable with the CMAC at all, but importantly, it's not in terms of price, the two aren't comparable either. So let's see how the new device compares. So there's the view. There's the tube coming in. And again, it's a fairly nice view. The numbers aren't quite in as much focus as I think what I was getting with the CMAC, but I don't think it's too far behind. Yeah, so definitely they're a little bit clearer with the CMAC. You can see the numbers are sharper. Um, the vocal cords are definitely a little bit sharper. Um, the views are very similar. Okay, so that's the view side by side. And in terms of image quality, there really isn't that much in it. Um, the CMAC, I think, is a little bit better, particularly when I had the tube in. I was able to appreciate the numbers on the tube a little bit better. But the new version of McGrath isn't that far behind the CMAC in terms of image quality, but it's massively behind in terms of price. The other one difference that I always notice with the McGrath Mac is you've got a very focused, zoomed-in view of the airway. Um, which is fine for oral intubation, but for nasal intubation, it's a little bit more difficult. If you were to imagine you were trying to pick up a nasal tube, you would have to go all the way down there, tilted back, to try and pick the tube up before going forward again. So I've never found this a good device for nasal intubation, particularly in pediatrics, where we're having to use forceps to pick the tube up. You can imagine in the CMAC, if I tilt back a little bit, there's the area here, so there's, you've almost got all the view in that you want on the one screen and you're not having to really change it that much. I'll we'll show you the same thing in the McGrath. Look how far I'm having to tilt before I get the uvula. In the CMAC, it's a tiny tilt, and I've actually still got the airway in the same screen. Here, there's airway, and there's uvula, so it's a massive difference. But for oral intubation, this works perfectly fine. The final thing I want to do is take a look at the direct view, because one of the things I've found with this very pinky colour to the light the direct view was not quite as nice, um, and it wasn't quite as bright. So I'm interested to see, does the new device perform any better? Okay, so that's our direct view, and you'll notice there is quite a pinky tinge to the light. If we take the new device and try and get the same view, and that is a whole lot better. It's a lovely white quality to the light. It looks exactly the same as a normal direct laryngoscope, and you can see everything in its true colors. If I show you the older version again, you can see how you, it makes everything look fairly pink in colour. There's definitely not as nice a colour to the light with the old version as there is with the new version. The final thing that I want to show you is the auto switch off. That's the third new feature. So there's the new box, there's the new better image quality, which there definitely is. And the third feature is the auto switch off in terms of battery. So this device knows when the new one knows when it's in your hand. Apparently 15 seconds or so after you set it down, the screen will dim slightly and then it will switch itself off after three minutes, whereas the old one shouldn't actually do any of that. So I'm just going to set the devices down and see exactly what they do. So you can see the screen on the old device has definitely dimmed down a little bit. If I pick it up again, it instantly goes back to fully lit. We'll set it down again and just watch the screen. I'm going to watch the light at the end as well and see does it dim as well. Or is it just the screen? Yes, the light itself also dims, so that's going to be a really useful battery saving feature. It's not just the screen that's dimming. So that's after 15 seconds, the screen should dim, but as you've shown when we pick it up, the light comes on and the screen comes back on. 
So we'll leave this running, see what it does. Okay, so that's the three minutes up and the device has turned itself off, whereas the old McGrath is still running and using the same battery. Now if I pick the device up now, it's obviously not going to switch itself on, but we'll see how quick it is when I press the button. It's instant, it's back on, so that is not going to be a problem at all, and the battery saving feature seems to be really, really good. The final thing I want to look at is the packaging, and you can see this is the box that came with the original McGrath. I've had this a number of years, and it is pretty battered and worn. But it does a good job in keeping the device nice and safe. So all we need to do is drop it in and pop the top on. The one downside to this is this is cardboard, so it's obviously not something that you can clean from an infection control point of view, and it is actually pretty battered after a few years of use. In terms of the new device, I'm interested to see how easy it goes into here. So it's just lift the lid off. We've got the separate trays in here, and it should just be a matter of dropping the device in and then popping the top back on. Again, we may just need to tilt the screen back, and then the top goes back on. So I think between the two devices, this one definitely looks more durable. I think if you were to drop this box, there's a potential for it to come apart and open up, whereas this one looks nice and solid, and the top really isn't going to come off this. You've had no problem wiping this down and cleaning it from an infection control point of view as well, and I would imagine over the years, this is definitely going to be much more durable than the box, although the box has served me well over the last few years. Okay, so it's now time to sum up and give my opinion on the 2022 version of the McGrath Mac, and particular with the three new changes. And I'm a big fan of all the changes. I think the new packaging looks nice and smart. It should do a good job of protecting the device. It's easy to use. All you have to do is make sure the screen is tilted back before putting it in, and there's no difficulty getting the lid back on. In terms of infection control and durability, this is going to work much better than the box that we had. So in terms of the battery auto switch off, I didn't think I was going to like this. I don't like devices switching themselves off when I'm ready to use them. Um, but in fact, I actually did like it and think it was a really good idea. Um, the fact that they've chosen three minutes before it fully switches itself off seems like a sensible number. Um, and the fact if it does switch itself off, it was within one second of pressing the button, the device was back on and ready to use. So that shouldn't be a big issue. In terms of image quality, this is an absolutely massive update, and I cannot understand for the life of me why they're not making a bigger deal about it. It is like night and day comparing this with the older device, and the update brings it just very slightly behind the CMAC, which causes an absolute massive amount of money compared to this now with approved image quality. So it's very good, particularly in paediatrics where secretions are going to block the airway and you need to see in better detail. This should make this device so much more useful. Um, it's good that they've stuck with the same blade design. If it's not broke, there's no need to fix it. And the blade design on the McGrath Mac was by far one of its best features. The fact that you can use it from a small neonate to a large adult with one device is absolutely brilliant, and it's reasonably cheap and straightforward to use. So these features, I'm pleased they haven't changed. The light to me it definitely looks to be brighter. And it's a nicer colour as well, which you mightn't necessarily appreciate. Um, so I'm really impressed with absolutely everything that's been done with this new device, and really looking forward to using it on some real patients. Once I have done, I'll share my experience in the comments. And a big thank you to Healthcare21 for sending the device out.